charging station, one of three million worldwide, and about 80,000 here in Germany alone. The widespread of these charging stations shows how fast we're transitioning from gas-powered cars into electric vehicles. And this is a clear sign of a great push towards going electric. But hey, what's, what's behind this massive shift? I mean, is it really all sunshine and rainbows? Now, the global narrative says that the main reason for switching to EV is to fight climate change. I mean, now, obviously, transportation is one of the main contributors to greenhouse emissions, making up about 14% of the global greenhouse emissions worldwide. EVs, on the other hand, with zero tailpipe emissions, are far better at reducing these emissions compared to traditional ICEs. But these emissions are considered as direct emissions. I will get back to that later. Now, just like any other natural resources, oil supply is not gonna last forever. So energy security is another big reason for the switch to EVs. A lot of countries want to rely less on imported oil, which can be very expensive and unstable due to global politics. So by moving to electricity for transportation, countries can actually use their own energy resources like solar and wind to boost their own energy efficiency and security and remain independent. Now, take China, for example. They've been pushing so hard for EVs to cut down on oil imports and also clean up city air. Now, China is the biggest EV market in the world, with over 3 million EVs sold in 2021 alone. But see, the government's supportive policies like subsidies, uh, tax breaks, and investments in charging stations have really helped this growth. seems very promising and pretty, but let's dig a little deeper. Let's do a reality check, shall we? Now, EVs aren't necessarily a slam dunk for clean transportation, as we might think. I mean, as we said earlier, while they don't create emissions directly, the electricity they rely on can be generated from dirty sources, such as coal plants, thus negating the environmental benefit. Now, the narrative we're being told does not portray the entire picture. It only highlights how EVs have zero tailpipe emissions. To be able to really understand an EV's emission, we must zoom out and look at the big picture and have an examination of the entire life cycle of an EV, including the environmental cost of battery production and the source of electricity that powers the car. It's also interesting to mention that the current limitations of EVs worsen the situation even further. Because compared to ICEs, EVs have a much shorter range, restricting travel and potentially leading to more frequent charging, which again depends on the cleanliness of the power grid. To tackle these issues, car manufacturers and governments are investing in greener battery tech and better recycling methods. Now, a lot of companies like Tesla, BMW, and Volkswagen are exploring solid-state batteries, which are more eco-friendly. Plus, there are these initiatives for improved battery recycling, like those proposed by the EU. These are gaining so much momentum. It's all about making those batteries greener and better. Now, with all of that being said, as of 2024, if you really want to make a significant impact on the environment, an electric car might not be your best solution. Instead, hybrid cars, with their current technology, offer an immediate, effective solution. Finally get paid for the get down. You can't tell me now about time. Do you know how? It is happening, whether we like it or not. 
We are currently witnessing a gradual transformation in the automotive industry and mobility. While EV technology is not yet fully developed, we think this push from governments and NGOs is part of a strategy to facilitate the transition from internal combustion engine cars to electric vehicles. Electric vehicles represent a promising solution, but not an instant fix. Now we all know that the future is electric, and all the efforts of governments and NGOs are crucial in paving the way for further research and development. With ongoing improvements in infrastructure, grid systems, clean energy, and battery technology, we're moving closer to a future where zero emissions is a more realistic goal. It's been time for electric, and see you in the next one.